Thank you. Frame four. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Left-handed break off shot from O'Sullivan. Yes, I did his match well against Jimmy White. He did exactly the same. He did exactly the same in his match before against Graham Dot. He's obviously comfortable doing it. I can't see any logical reason why, but he's such a good player with his left hand. But what he's being asked now for the first time this week is a question. I know there's a long way to go in this match. Best of 19, first to 10. But... He's not done a lot wrong, but the last two frames, it's been all John Higgins. Oh, no. John's turn to catch a, a shot. Well, that was a pot. Caught it so thin. Played as a shot to nothing, and uh, probably would have been if he got somewhere near the potting angle. But the thinner contact, missing the red thin, Involved the cannon and left uh, the cue ball at this end. Not that it's left an easy pot. Can you put that camera away, please? Somebody in the audience, obviously, with a flash camera, otherwise, the referee wouldn't have seen it. Well, that's a good pot from Ronnie. One. I'm going to say Ronnie's got a question to answer. It, it, it wasn't a big question. It was just the fact, like you mentioned earlier, Clive, that when Ronnie gets in front, he gets stronger. All the top players do, don't they? John Higgins would have done the same. Six. Yes, and uh, O'Sullivan proved himself a fighter from a very difficult position in last season's Welsh Open final when he was three down with four to play against Steve Davis and managed to win 9-8. Earlier in his career, he often didn't have quite that resilience. Seven. Twenty-two. The interesting bit coming up shortly. Thirty. How's he going to develop the bunch? Like that. Thirty-one. Was sure to retain black ball position with that screw off the back row of the Reds. Just about okay. 38. You just want to be a little bit further away from the cushion if he's going to screw it in for the, the black or run through for the blue, it looks like now. 39. Well, didn't he play that well? That was absolutely inch perfect. Perfect on the blue. Got a couple of loose reds on either side of the main cluster. Still got a little bit to do before it's a clear run to the line in this frame. This one, the last frame before the mid-session interval. 44. Great quality so far. Forty-five. 
95 break O'Sullivan in the opening frame 54 and 76 from Higgins in the second Clincher a 37 from Higgins in the third and uh, now that he's opened the bunch 52 this looks like uh, a clincher from O'Sullivan coming up Fifty-three. Again, can count on the cluster, being sure to develop position, but decided he could do without it. Sixty. After this black, he'll be looking for one more red. And uh, two all score line will be taken into the, the first interval of this match. John didn't do a lot wrong, he just well, he didn't play the the best of shots. He had a shot for nothing, caught it much too thin. And that's really been the tale of all the frames, apart from the first one that have been lost. Ronnie O'Sullivan has played a couple of safety shots, just caught them a bit too thin. At this level, it's just little fractions like that that cost you frames. But Ronnie has taken these really well. 69. So he's showing you that when he gets his chances, he's in fine form. But he was frozen out the last two just by virtue of the fact that he's safely playing, just laying down slightly. How fine a line is that? 76. 77. 141 by uh, the outstanding 17 year old Chinese prospect Ding Junhui. It's the highest break of the tournament so far. Eighty four. O'Sullivan could make 143 with all blacks. 85. 142 now that he's on the pink. Do you think he'll be aware, Clive? I'll be surprised if he isn't. He knows what the highest break is, and he knows now that to beat it, he's got to get blacks off each red. Nothing else will do. 92. 10,000 pounds is the highest break prize. Ninety-nine. He didn't play the cannon. He wants to be on this red so he can get on the black. Ronnie will be well aware of the score. He knows 141 is now the target. Ding Chun Hui's 141 is still the front runner for the highest break prize, but that run of 107 enables Ronnie O'Sullivan to level at two all at the mid-session interval. And terrific stuff in this final. Uh, what well, we expected it, and uh, great snook has been delivered. Yes, so ten years ago when these two players met in this final, if we'd have seen that stand of the snooker, we would have been absolutely raving over it, wouldn't we, John? Now it's becoming the accepted standard. The cutting edge has moved up a little bit more, but it was still superb snooker. Fantastic play all the way through that. I mean, tactically very sound. Anybody who made a mistake got a severe punishment there. It was brilliant, brilliant snooker, very, very high quality. What has hit you the most from those four frames? I think perhaps people were worried that Ronnie O'Sullivan may run away with it and John Higgins wasn't able to hold him, but we've been proven uh, right that John Higgins is capable and, and he's in good form, buoyed up by the confidence of winning a ranking tournament this season. It was interesting to say, uh, the commentators raised the question that a, a question had been asked of Ronnie, so then he responds with a, a terrific break there, and they'll keep testing each other all the way through perhaps. Yeah, it, it might go 